Hello, Lewis, Gabriella, and Katie. Uh, Lewis, Gabriella, uh, parents of baby Amari. Yes. So, uh, what we'd like to do today, obviously, Katie's been treating Amari for a little while. What we want to do is just go through a brief story of first of all, what brought you to the clinic? Why did you come to seek Katie's advice? So, we had issues with breastfeeding, a lot of um, latch issues, um, and I was told that she might have a possible tongue tie, but I just wanted to, or rather, we wanted to make sure. We gave her another option for having a not necessary cut. Yeah, well, she was she was delivered via um, C-section. What are they called? Forceps. Forceps. Forceps delivery. So it's quite an aggressive delivery, and so we thought that maybe that could have caused some issues. And um, like Ella said, our, our first opinion was straight away tongue tie, definitely tongue tie. We just thought just before we go with that mild operation, you know, let's see if we can get a second opinion. So then we thought of right lies. Obviously we know you guys have been around here for a while now, so we thought we'd come and see Katie and that's why we booked it in initially, was just to get that second opinion. How long was Amari struggling for? Um what, three months? I'm gonna say two before we came I think. Mm, it was just quite little when you bought her two, still, yeah. Two, three years. Yeah. How quickly did you start to notice the difference? Immediately. After the first session. Yeah. Yeah. So Katie, if you could just share with us how you were working with Amari. Yeah, definitely. So initially it was just an assessment to see um, actually did she have a tongue tie and she was still able to lift her tongue and move her tongue from side to side so it didn't appear that even if she did have a slight tongue tie it was probably quite a mild tongue tie. Um, and then obviously she was born by forceps so really we did a full assessment of her head, her jaw, and all the muscles that she would be using when she's feeding. Um, and there was quite a lot of tension around there, which I think is why you was having issues when you were trying to breastfeed. So even from and the initial appointment, we already started working on her mechanics with her jaw and the muscles that she used for feeding, and just starting to release those off um, and making her a bit more comfortable, which I think is probably where it started quite early on to have a a positive impact on your feeding. And was there any management involved between appointments? Um, it was just advice in terms of how they were feeding and um, trying to become, trying to get into a bit more, more of a routine with breastfeeding. Um, I think that because it was painful for yourself, naturally you don't want to do it. So it was just working with both of them to kind of get a routine back together and then we, we got there in the end, didn't we? And mm -hmm. things got a lot better. Amazing. How has your experience as parents been since um, bringing Amari here for treatment? A lot better, like we've been able to, I mean, I still pump but I also am able to put on the breast when needed. Um, it's a lot easier instead of, because obviously babies still need comfort, the bottle sometimes not enough or whatever. Um, there was a the fear of mastitis, she already got mastitis two times. You didn't want to return for a third time. It was important to make sure that she was going on the on the breast when she could. But then there's a fear of putting her on the breast because yeah. it was so painful. She couldn't nap properly, so she couldn't breastfeed like she wanted to, but she needed to to avoid getting massage for a third time. So then that and that was a lot of stress. She was in that hospital for the first sort of four to six weeks of um, of, of a minor arrival. It was yeah. it was a lot of yeah, hospital for a week or two at a time. So that that was a lot of stress. Um, as you can imagine, so there was a lot of fear to put her back on the boob. Yeah, a lot of fear because I did not want to go back into hospital. Me, they were amazing. They took care of me, but the pain, um, the routine was gone. Yeah, as well. everything was just out the window, and then. So after the first session, we could put her. Well, I think we could put her. You <laughs> put her, you put her on the breast, and on, that was the first time in probably about a month or two that you had a, or if, if ever, you had a mm -hmm. pain-free feed. I think I remember messaging you on the next time I came, mm -hmm. I was like, I actually had a pain-free feed. Yeah, yeah. It, it was really nice to see like such a quick turnaround. Yeah. Even often in the first appointment, it's just you do the assessment and you have very little time to treat because it's such a big case history and then you check all the reflexes and you do a full assessment. Um, but we think we've got a little bit of treatment time in so even in that short amount of time it obviously made a positive impact which is really good. Amazing. And um, go, going forward, is there any management that is, is needed or is it all good to go now? Um, no, pretty much all good to go and I think that together we got Amari to a place where like you say now you have the flexibility if she wants to breastfeed she can if not she's fine with bottle and I think that was the most important thing it wasn't about 
pressurising Amari to be breastfed. It was just about getting her to a place where you and Amari were both comfortable with breastfeeding and bottle feeding, which is where you're at now, and that was the most important thing. Amazing. And uh, if you guys had any friends or relatives that were struggling with the same thing and they needed some help, where would you tell them to go? Revitalise. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much.